Brown on Twitter. And he is phenomenal. I just have to say. Do you guys mind if I hold the mic? I Go promise get not it. to rap. <laughs> are we on? Whatever uh, you want. We are on? Okay, give me that three, two, one. Contact. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Bang. How you guys doing? My name is Shaka Brown. Isn't it awesome to travel and see the world? Yeah. Wouldn't it be awesome to travel and see the world for free? Wouldn't it be even better to travel and see the world and get paid to do it? Yeah, yeah. I want to tell you guys a story about a little boy from Tampa who, have, who chased his dreams. All my life, since I was about 12 years old, I knew that I was in love with two things. One was teaching and the other was traveling. Now, teaching, I took my chances anywhere I went, I would teach something. Traveling, on the other hand, was a little bit harder and I couldn't come up with exactly how I was going to do it. So I made my 10 year plan. And what everyone told me was that if you want to travel, study hard, get a job, and then you can go see the world on vacation. So that was my plan. I went to Florida A&M University. I studied computer information systems. I was good at it. I'm really good with computers sometimes. I got a job before I even graduated. Two weeks of vacation, and what really got me was that they told me that they were international offices and they sent their employees all around the world. Now at the same time, I found another love, and that was dancing. So now I'm teaching and I'm traveling, and I'm dancing just about every night of the week. This job I had required that I dedicate about 12 hours of each day to that job. Meaning from the time I woke up, if I woke up at 6 a.m., brushed my teeth, I was thinking about the job, going to work, putting in the time, lunchtime. By the time, if I got home at 6 p.m., that would have been pretty much average for most people's lives. That's 12 hours of your day. Now if I slept for six hours, that gives me half my time to myself. Though two weeks of vacation, it wasn't two weeks, it was 10 days. And it wasn't even 10 days, it was 80 hours. And they chipped those hours away. You want to wait for a furniture delivery? Oh, that's going to take two hours of your leave. You want to meet your mom for lunch? Oh, that's going to take some more time out of your leave. So, <laughs> after that, the, tra the international offices, they told me that I had to have seniority to do that. It would take about five years to get seniority to travel. This is when something kind of snapped inside of me. Or maybe it clicked, because I quit that job. I bought a ticket to Brazil. Never been to Brazil. Didn't speak Portuguese. But I was like, I'm doing this. I'm going to do something. And this is the day that I created my world. In my world, I made the first rule, and that rule is that I was going to do what I love to do. And that was going to be teaching, traveling, and dancing. Now, a lot of people said to me, you know what, in this world, you cannot get by teaching, traveling, and dancing. And I will tell you something, they were right. I was not making any money at all doing this. I, you know, I was, I was busting my ass. I was like teaching workshops, teaching privates, charging for performances, charging for anything that I was doing. I was trying to charge for it, charge for it, charge for it. And I realized I was living the same life that I was doing, but making less money with the other company. Because how many of us live our lives like this? Looking at the clock, we get to work, we watch the clock, the clock hits five o'clock, okay, now we can go and actually do something with our lives. All right, and we, then we do that every single day and that clock goes around and around, but that clock doesn't go in around and around, that clock goes like that. Because that five o'clock that you have today, it's not coming back. And I don't know how many you're gonna have, but you've got one less every time you hit that five o'clock. So then I come up with my second rule of what I was gonna do in my life. And that was not live on the clock. I'm not saying don't get paid for what you do. I absolutely insist on getting paid for what you do, but I was like, okay, I need to come up with a way that I can get paid for what I do without having to do it all the time. So now what I do is, I'm pretty good at dancing. I get a chance to travel all over the place. People call me, they book me for teaching, traveling, and dancing, which I'm very happy doing. However, as I teach and travel and dance, I meet people that like to dance and learn and travel, and I invite them to an event that I do once a year in DC. So now every single person that I meet, every handshake, is someone that I'm going to interact with on a, per on a basis of something that I love to do and something that they love to do. And as they buy tickets for the event, that helps. I also get a chance to work with dance instructors who are in the same line of what I like to do, and they take their teaching seriously. So I run a website that offers online digital delivery of the dance instructors. So now every handshake that I make with a dancer, they might look at me and say, yeah, let me sign up for their website. Now, is it working for me? I think so. I've been in 35 countries in the past 15 years. Woo! I've got a chance to live in those countries, speak the three languages. I've got a chance to 
visit the a bunch of stuff that I can't tell about in 15 seconds. <laughs> in fact, even in the past two weeks alone, I got a chance to hang out with Janie and Flip. I got to teach on a, on a boat alongside the River Seine in Paris. I got to run the London Marathon. I got to teach five workshops, do two seminars. And so I call these things my bedroom rules. The first rule gives me a reason to get out of bed every day. And the second one allows me to stay in bed when I want to. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for having me out here. Ha, ha, ha.